Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. This is the timeline of computer history and I picked 1997 for a reason because we were talking about the Nintendo. Grand Theft Auto was released. The uh, ASCII Red is operational. I would just like to say something about ASCII Red. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I? Ooh, please, can I, can I, can I, can I? I just want to say one thing. Okay. Go, dear. First of all, you can't tell me that the name ASCII Red is not awesome. And second of all, the fact that they even painted some of them red is cool, although most of them were not. They, they just did a few cabinets for fun. Um, ASCII Red was the world's first teraflop supercomputer. And for three or four years, it was the fastest supercomputer in the world, back when supercomputers actually held records for more than five hot minutes. Today, if a supercomputer holds the record for more than six months, it's pretty amazing. 1.3 trillion floating point operations per second. Honey, I would I'm like timing you. I would like you to oh. to look up what the current fastest supercomputer in the world is. It's Frontier and Aurora, they're coming. And how many teraflops? Oh, my filing cabinet is going to take That's why one, I asked you to one, look it up. One petaflop. A petaflop, which is 1000 ASCII reds. I get two freaking gold stars. Frontier is AMD and Aurora is Intel. I have a fun thought for you. What? The RTX 2080 Ti yeah. is 10 times faster than ASCII Red. The new iPhones oh, wow, are yeah. similar in performance to ASCII Red. That's true. You literally have a supercomputer in your pocket. Yep. The fastest computer on earth 25, not a little less, but about 25 years ago, is in your pocket. Tell me you can't be a little impressed by that. Okay. Because this is 1.3 teraflops and we're going to one petaflop. But it wasn't 1.3 when it was first built. It took time. It was That's 2000. True. They upgraded it over time. Oh God, the next one. Computer disk rewriter balls, 1997. That is 700 megabytes of data. Yep. You can now buy a 128 gigabyte little teeny USB thumb drive for 10 bucks. And those rewritables often cost 10 bucks each. What ratio of improvement? Forgetting performance, forgetting access time, forgetting portability, forgetting fragility. Let's talk for a minute about what difference that is. Math time. It is math freaking time because that is what we do here because we are here to inform, educate, entertain, and make you all laugh. 128. We'll even just use base 10 to make things easy. 128 megabytes is 128 Thousand, uh, 128 gigabytes is 128,000 megabytes. It would take 183 700 megabyte CD-ROMs to equal a $10 flash drive. $10? Wow. And if each disk, even at 8x writing speed, at 8x writing speed, um, standard is 150 kilobits per second, uh, 0.15 times 8, 1.2. If it took 10 minutes to write each disk, that's about right for, a, for an 8x drive. It would take you 30 hours, not counting drive disk change time. It would take you 30 hours 
to write those discs. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Damn. Hang on. 128 gigs is 1310. I'm using base 10 for simplicity, whatever. It, it, He's using base 10. And the 700 isn't really 700 either because they both convert either way. The point exactly. is to discuss how much. And let's be honest here. A little, where's my flash drive sitting on the thing? Uh, right there. Flash. A hundred and what was it? 183 CD discs that you've got to stack up and store. That's like multiple, that's 450 disc spindles versus One. this. Yep. With instant random access time. Um, yeah. Aren't computers fun? What okay. else is on here? IBM's Deep Blue defeats world chess champion Gary Kasparov. I remember watching that. Mm -hmm. That was a big, big Actually, deal. Actually, both of those are the same. I don't know why they had it in there. Uh, Microsoft introduces Visual Studio. That's a big deal for developers. There was a lot of... Uh, uh, Microsoft did so much work to oh. get the ecosystem up and running. Visual Basics. Visual J++. But yeah, there's a lot more to it than just one component. Yeah, there is. There's a whole lot in there. And then that's it. But that's 24 years ago. Not 25. 25 years ago was 96. Yeah, but we were looking at the Nintendo from 1997. Yeah, but we have to look at this here. Oh. The reason we have to look at this here. Yeah, because you've got one of them. Uh, because, well, that's the first Voodoo chip. Um, I, I have this. Nope, that's a Matrox Millennium. Hang on. I've got, I've got one over here. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Who stole my card? <gasps> there it is. Got worried for a second. You got worried for a I second? I got worried for a second. This. Hang on. This. <laughs> Quirks and features. This is a 12 megabyte. 12 megabyte? 3DFX Voodoo 2. And do you see how it has? Two. Oh, three. Uh, no, it's got two. One of those is a control chip. This actually had SLI. Is that why it's Voodoo 2? Um, or is it the second gen? It's really, it's a clock improved version of the first one and refined, but it's, the, 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 the big thing about the Voodoo 2 is the fact that it basically had two chips in SLI, but it was completely different SLI technology than today. They saved the trademark when NVIDIA bought it, but it's a completely different technology. And there was an eight gigabyte version of this and a 12 gigabyte version. So of course... So, of course. Gigabyte. Megabyte. The upcoming RTX 3080 Ti has 12 gigabytes of RAM. Correct. And this has eight, uh, 12 Mega megabytes. Bytes. I'm very proud of this. <laughs> anyway, can you tell? Yes. No. Okay. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.